So once we have talked about how do you send a JSON request and I mean how do you fetch JSON data from the server and if you can observe we are fetching all the values we are even fetching one particular alien and then we are even creating a new object. Now the thing is uh, till this point whenever we talked about repository we were having this weird repository right where you are storing data in a static way. Can you see that we are creating this object by ourselves. Now logically what we should be doing is we should be storing this data in database right. So when you fetch when you fetch data this data should be coming from database and when you save data example when I say create this should be stored inside database and unfortunately I have not written any code for that. Now let's make it real. I mean why to work with a fake database here or a fake repository. Let's work with a real database so that you can actually feel that thing you know when you save data in a database, when you fetch it and uh, all those things. Now question arises which DBMS you are going to work here. Uh, first of all we have to think about two things. The first one is which DBMS you are going to work and the second one are we going to use any framework for that. The first one, the first question is which DBMS? Again you can choose any DBMS which you like. You can go for MySQL. So let me just write it here. You can go for MySQL, you can go for Postgres and we can go for Oracle. It's your choice, you know. The code will not change. I mean of course the database code will change but then your resources will not get affected. This will be same for all different DBMS. Now which one I will choose here. So I will go for MySQL because I already I have already configured MySQL in my system. Everything is working there. You can use Postgres, you can use Oracle, which, which one is which you prefer. The only thing is as DBMS changes you have to change some settings. Again uh, if you have learned JDBC before you know what I'm talking about. Okay so that's the first thing. So I'll be using MySQL. Now will, be using, uh, will I be using any framework here like Hibernate or maybe some ORM tool. Uh, not exactly. You can, if you want, you can implement that. We will, we will be to purely using JDBC here. No fancy stuff. Let's use JDBC because we are focusing more on REST API, not on the ORAM tool. Uh, if you, once you learn about REST API, I do have a video on Hypernet. Just watch those videos also, and you can combine by yourself. I would love to see your implementation for that. But time in, let's focus on JDBC. Again, I'm not, I will not be using any connection pool in this, in this example. We'll be going with a simple JDBC concept because. I don't want to confuse you with JDBC stuff here so let's keep it simple. So first of all I'll be using MySQL and I'll be using JDBC. Now to understand how okay I'm, I'm assuming that you know JDBC beforehand but in case okay if you are not familiar with JDBC I would suggest you to watch a, my, my JDBC video on YouTube. So even if you search for Telesco JDBC it will give you a JDBC video and uh, so do, do search that, this on YouTube. And once you watch that video, you'll be having enough understanding to watch, I mean, to continue with the series. And if you know JDBC, that's fine. Let's continue with this. Now, how do we implement JDBC? So we have to implement those seven steps, right? So I will make it quick. So first step would be, I want to import java.sql.star. In fact, the amazing thing is we will replace this by our own stuff in future. A time, let's say it's uh, java.sql.star. Java then I also need a MySQL connector. Of course, right? When you talk about your database, uh, we need to use a MySQL connector, right? Now question arises from where I will get a MySQL connector. Now to do that, we have to go to our favorite website, which is MySQL, I mean the Maven repository. So we'll go to Maven repository. This is a place where you will get your MySQL connector. So let's search for MySQL connector. The first link, click on that and just go down. Uh, this works perfectly fine. 5.1.38. I'm using this from a long time. So I, I already have a, what do you say, a, a local Java file for this. So it will not take much time to get downloaded. As you can see, it is, it is done. Uh, in my dependencies, you can, you can, you can find MySQL connector now. Now, once we have done with that, let's get back to repository and let's continue with the steps. We need, we need an object of connection. Of course, I will say connection con. And we'll initially we'll set it as null. Now I also need to do some more things. Uh, let's not use this uh, array as of now because we don't need any any array list here, right? Let's remove all this stuff. In the constructor, I want to initialize my my con object. So I will say con equal to driver manager dot get connection, and you can pass those three parameters, three beautiful parameters. Again, uh, you can do in your own way. Okay, there is not nothing that you have to follow my step for JDBC. If you know something better, just go with that. Go with go ahead with that. We'll say JDBC colon uh, MySQL colon 
and local host where it is local host then the port number for MySQL is 3306 oh that's 6 and then the database name oh which database I'm going to use because uh, we have not yet created a database yet, right? So let me open my uh, MySQL. I was already working on some database here. Let me remove all this thing. Say create database and we'll say this is for REST data or REST DB. Again, you can name it anything you want. So let me just create a database here and let me create a table for that. So we'll say create table, what? We'll say table name as alien and this alien will have alien ID. Um, we'll keep it as ID itself. So we'll say ID as int comma name as varchar. Uh, let's say the size of 20 provided uh, it's not my name. Uh, okay, because my name is very big, you know, if you don't know that's that's fine. Okay, so <laughs> I'll say int uh, ID int name varchar and I also need a points which of type int. I got my table, which, which is that I got my table. And if I select star from alien now, you can see, oh, what's wrong? I have to first say this, then I have to say this, and then I have to say select. Oh, what's happening? What's wrong? It says cannot create a table rest DB because database exists. Is it? Let me refresh and we, okay, we, we got this database and we have to say rest, use rest DB. And now is it working? Yeah, that's fine. Let's create this table and let's create, let's fetch the alien. As you can see, it is empty. Again, you, you could have insert this data from here, but just to make it real, let's get back to our code and let's insert data from here, not from here, actually from the user. So currently my database name is restdb, right? Once we got our database, we have to mention the username. So we'll say username equal to for, for uh, MySQL, username is root. And for, for, for MySQL, my password is password is zero. I, I know we should not be putting that as a password, that, that's fine. Once we got this three, you are, the three things, let's specify username and the password, right? So once we have assigned all these values and I can see this uh, error there, let me say control shift O, it will import all the packages. What's wrong? Why? Oh, oh. okay. So it says uh, there might, there is an unhandled exception. So of course, whenever, whenever you do these things, you have to make sure that you use try catch. We'll say try catch exception exception e, and in case if there's if there's an error, we'll print system dot 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 an error. We can also maintain the log file. We can also uh, do the print trace, but then let's uh, system dot 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 is fine for 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 me at least. Okay, so once we got this connection object, we have to also say class dot for name if you want to load your driver. So I will say class dot for name and you have to mention the driver name which is com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver as i've already mentioned i'm assuming that you know uh, uh jdbc beforehand so if it, if you still don't know just go back to my go back to youtube and search for um, telesco jdbc and we watch that video okay once we got these two steps now we have to replace this thing which is your list uh, your get alien with a java query Right, you have to fire this query to get these elements. But then we'll be doing that in the next video because this video is already very lengthy now. So we'll do that in the second part of JDBC of REST. So that's it from this video. Uh, in the next video, we'll talk about how to continue with this stuff. So that's that's it. Thank you so much for, for watching.